of the reality of the dunya is the example given by Imam Ghazali rahimahullah about the dunya. He speaks about a man who's walking through the jungle. And whilst he's walking, he looks behind and he sees a lion chasing him. And he runs. And he comes to a well. And he jumps into the well. And whilst he's falling, he manages to hold onto some rope. And he breathes a sigh of relief. And looks up, he sees the lion hovering over him, waiting for him. And he looks down and beneath him is a large serpent with his mouth open, waiting for him to fall. And the only support he has is the rope. And after a little to while, he sees a black mouse and a white mouse set upon the rope and they begin to nibble it. Above is the lion, beneath is the serpent and the only support he has is the rope. And now that's being nibbled at. And in front of him, he sees this honeycomb. And he looks at this honeycomb. And then he sticks his finger into that honey. And he takes that honey upon his finger and he places it upon his tongue. And the sweetness of the honey momentarily makes him forget the lion, the snake and even two mice. Imam Ghazali rahimahullah says that the lion is death which is always chasing you. The serpent is your grave into which every person will fall. And if he's a good person, it will be a min riyad al a garden from the paradises of, from a gardens of paradise. And if he's evil, it will be a pit from the pits of Jahannam. And the rope is his life. And the black mouse denotes the night and the white mouse denotes the day. And they are always nibbling upon your life. And the honey is the dunya. A man tastes the sweetness of the dunya and he forgets death. He forgets the grave. He forgets a day will come that he will die and he will have to stand in front of his creator.